my name is Kendra. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Today we have a boohoo haul and this is actually a part two. I filmed this a couple days later, but I did a boohoo dress haul, but in that same order, I got a lot of like separate like shorts and little tops and things. So I'm gonna show you guys all of those today. I really have high hopes. I haven't tried anything on. It's all like laid out, but I haven't put it on my body yet. But like, if these things work out, I think I have a couple that are gonna be like, summer staples. I just need more shorts and more just like tops like this. Just tops I can like throw on because it is hotter than hot here. I mean, I'm new to Texas, so like it's probably pretty average, but I'm just not used to heat with humidity. <laughs> it's a different beast. So that's why my hair's like this. I'm tired of sweating my hair out in front of you guys, okay? We're just gonna hop in. Boohoo haul, I'm a size 20 and yeah. Okay, so first thing, I'll talk about these pants in a second, but I have this like, it's technically a corset top. There's like boning in it. So I'm not wearing a bra. I couldn't really get into it without taking off my bra because my, does anyone else have this problem? I feel like I tell you guys this a lot where I'm like, oh, I wouldn't fit with my bra on. But like bras like pull you up and like, you know, protrude your chest. And a lot of these tops I feel like are built for someone like with a smaller chest. And so like without it, yes, I fit into it, but with my bra, it's like no way, no how. So. I hope everyone knows what I mean when I say that, but it's a little bit interesting. First of all, it's like this beautiful, like little floral, very ditzy summer girl, like so cute. But I wish that the layer that they used on top, because it is double layered, I wish this top layer was a little bit stiffer because like the shape of this is kind of like wonky. And I think it's just because it's not stiff enough to stay put. So like it has these like little points, but I think those are kind of weird. So if I just like tuck those, and then it comes down to this like U shape. But even this is a little, maybe it's not. Maybe I'm just looking at it weird. It's also giving me like bandana vibes, like those like cute bandana tops that people have been wearing. I got this in a size 20. I thought it'd be super cute, like just to throw on with some shorts. Like obviously you have like your whole chest and arms out. Like this is a lot of skin showing. This is something I would not have been comfortable with. Even last year, I would have been like, huh, no way. But now I'm like, I probably wouldn't wear it with these pants that I'll show you, but I can see this with a skirt, like so pretty. And you know, probably just tuck in that little, <laughs> little weird thing. And then, yeah, let me show you the back. It's actually a lot thicker around the back than I anticipated. So you have like a good amount of coverage back there. And there is a zipper in the back so that you can get in and out of it because it's kind of tight. But also I don't know if I could have got in it with a zipper. I just pulled it on over my head. So either option kind of works. What do you guys think about this? Are you just like, uh, like not feeling it? Like the boning I feel like is really cool and I do feel nice and like <laughs> structured, <laughs> but I just don't know about like the overall cut because it is just like, I don't know if you guys can see it, like goes down in the front and the back is just a tube. So there's no, there's not much to it, but on the inside there is like little rubberized strips along the, the top hem. So you kind of have a little bit more support there. But it is, this whole thing is very rigid because of the boning. So I'm a box. Now these pants, they're just not good. <laughs> they're not real pants. So let me, let me bring it down. So these, I thought they would be cute because they're like a nice minty color. I got them a size up because I wanted to have just some room. I didn't want them to be super fitted. They still kind of are, but honestly, it's just because they're this weird stretchy material and they're not really pants. Like this is fake, the button's fake. Even like the hemline, if you guys can see, like they didn't even like sew down the hemline. So it's just like, they look very cheap. They look like they're not like well put together or thought through. They're pretty long. They like kind of drape over my feet. Maybe that would have been different with the size down, but they're just kind of like a, I don't know. I don't love these. I don't feel good in them. I used to really get down with the trouser, but nowadays like I, I just can't find ones that I like. And these are definitely not it. I think they're, they're just too structureless for the kind of style that they're going for. It needs to have something more. There's no pockets. Like there's literally nothing to these. They feel like a pull on like legging. And I think they look like it too. They look like leggings or like yoga pants masquerading as pants, if that makes sense. So don't love these, but I think I like the top. Okay, so I wanted to go with something a little bit more foolproof and like, look at this. I love this whole outfit. Okay, so this is another corset top. I think I just had them on the brain when I was ordering. Again, no bra. It's tight, but this one at least has some stretch in it. And I just feel so much more comfortable in this. Like we got a puff sleeve, it's a square neckline, and this is all hook and eyes. And there's a little bit of like puckering, but because it's consistent all the way down, I don't think it looks bad. But the hook and eyes literally are like every half inch. Like they really 
laid in the hook and eyes and I think it made such a difference because if there's only a couple you do get gapping throughout but this just kind of like made it really seamless up and down the front hopefully that's not deodorant I'm sure it is I think this is great it has these seam lines but it doesn't actually have any boning in it so I think that helps just the longevity of the item from a brand like boohoo I feel like the bones in that other one I can see those like coming out after a while but since this is just like a kind of sewing element and not a structural element I think this will just last a lot longer and I love the sleeve like this is a good length for a puff like almost to the elbows if it was like a touch longer to the elbows I think it'd be like even better but can't complain this is great <laughs> and the back is like just straight up there's no <laughs> scoop like there's no nothing but just like the last one it is shorter in the back so if you guys can kind of see it's just like straight across and then dips at the front i really like this <laughs> and then i paired it with these shorts sorry top and a 20 shorts and a 22. these shorts are so cute they're just like an orangey I think this is straight up orange. I was just saying orangey red, but I think they're just straight up orange. Poke it out short. And uh, I don't know. I just like love a short like this. Yes, you guys are like, oh my God, you can see your belly line. It doesn't matter. <laughs> like I have a belly. We all know I have a belly. And I feel like it's stuff like this that's like floaty enough in the leg that I don't feel uncomfortable. They're long enough in the back that I don't feel super like, oh, my butt's on display. And then it has like an elastic waist, a tie. There's no pockets. They probably could have gotten away with it because there's like extra fabric here, but whatever we can't have everything but i just think these are really cute and i know i would be comfortable actually going out in this like this whole outfit i would go out into the world in and i think that's something that there's a lot of things that yes are beautiful blah blah, blah but like at the end of the day if i can't leave my apartment in them because i'm like are the karen's gonna stare at me at the grocery store then it's just like it doesn't make sense for me to buy them <laughs> it doesn't make sense for me to spend my money on them and some of those items I ended up sending back. So I'm like, I'm never gonna wear this. Even if I do love it. This whole thing, I would wear this. With gold jewelry, layered down, some big old hoops, like my hair actually down and done. This would be a fit. I don't know how to feel. Okay, so I really liked the look of these shorts online. You guys know me, I'm not huge into denim shorts, but I do need some. I feel like denim shorts are a staple in everyone's wardrobe. Like they're a good base to dress up and down, but I just never find ones that I like. So I saw these with this cute little scalloped edge and I thought, oh my God, so perfect. Got these in a 22, they have no stretch. So like they fit me and I feel like, you know, they don't even look bad. Like I really like the way they look but they are so uncomfortable. Not that they're so tight, but just that they're so stiff. Like there's no movement in them at all. Like this feels like cardboard. So that's kind of a problem. But they are so cute and they have scalloping all along the top, all the way around and then the bottom hem as well. So I just thought it was a really cute touch. I like that they're a bit longer, tighter up here, but then they kind of flare out at your thighs, which I kind of like, but I just don't know if I would actually wear them considering the fabric feel. So. I'll have to think about these. I do like them. Maybe give them a shout, especially maybe if you have a smaller tummy. Like I don't mind that I, you can see my stomach. I feel like they look really good, but I feel like maybe that's part of the tightness. Um, I have one other top that I'm gonna pair this with as well, but I also have this. This situation up here is bad. None of these tops can be worn with my freaking strapless bra. Like if you guys can see, like this dips really low. Like you'd be able to see the whole thing. Not my cup of tea. Another corset. I really had one thing on the brain. But this one does have the boning in it so we have the boning along the front but they did give us stretch on the back this is all smock you know i can't fault them you know they gave us kind of the best of both worlds structure and stretch <laughs> but i just think that like the overall look of it doesn't really work on me and like my chest and then also you have these self-tie straps that feel like they're holding on by their dear life okay these things are self-tie but just like the amount of weight holding these up you know it just doesn't feel right we also have one in the middle and i will say like some of boohoo's items you can definitely feel the price right but other things you're like oh you know this is actually good quality for the price this top i feel the very low price point that it probably was i have strings just kind of like everywhere i feel like every seam has strings hanging off of it like just everywhere like it just doesn't look very good and this boning in particular i would be super nervous of this popping out downwards so yeah top is a no these short they're growing on me they're so cute the shorts are so cute and i feel like these would work so well in my wardrobe maybe they maybe i'd wear them in maybe they would get softer or maybe they wouldn't but they're just so cute i don't know oh, i'll show you guys the next top that i'm gonna pair with these okay same bottoms different top again 
not corset, but it just has an interesting little cut. I thought the V was cute, but then around the back, it's just a tube and it's just these spaghetti strap. The whole thing is stretchy. It has a little ribbed action going on. I just kind of liked the color. I don't usually do vibrant pink. I'm more of like a blushy pink kind of gal. But I just felt just a little pizzazz, you know? I don't know if I like the V. Maybe you just tuck that in, but then now it's just a tank top. But I don't really have a lot of these. I feel like something in my childhood because of the spaghetti straps. Please leave a comment down below if you got dress coded for this, the spaghetti strap action. So I think something in me kind of held on to that and I've never really worn a lot of spaghetti straps. I'll do like strapless and all this other stuff, but for some reason, spaghetti straps ignite my fight or flight when it's a top i feel like i have a ton of spaghetti strap dresses but just in a top i just remember they're coming up do you have a cardigan young lady and me being like no and they're like well then you need to go find your gym shirt and put that on my mom <laughs> bless her when she went to school in the 80s my mom's a gen x so like maybe she just like didn't have the same kind of rules but i remember every time they would call her like, hey kendra's got a dress code my mom would be so confused because she knows what i wear and she'd be like my, my daughter has a dress code. I feel like they were after me because at a certain point, like I was bigger. I was one of the only brown girls. I feel like I just kind of stuck out. They were more likely to notice that I would be not in dress code. So I feel like they sought me out sometimes. Call my mom and I, by the end of the school year, eighth grade, I was over it. Like at this point, I made a point. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna break the rules because what are they gonna do? It's not like they can't not let me graduate or like move on to high school, like I'm done here. So I got six dress codes in five days and you're asking yourself, Kendra, how did you get two in one day? They stopped me, let me keep my shirt, but just had me put my gym shirt on. And so then I went in the bathroom a couple of periods later and I took that off and was just wearing my thing. And then they saw me again. So anyway, I have an aversion to tank top straps, um, but I think this is cute. I really like it. I like how it's like straight up across, but it kind of goes, up into my armpits you guys know what i feel if they don't show this little bit i really like that so cute color i'll get over the tank top and this is my last outfit <laughs> i know what you're thinking i'm renaming this video to boohoo corset review okay that is it this is a lot like the first black one that i showed you or the black the only black one i showed you the boning is faux it's just seam lines this one doesn't have eyelets like you just pull it on over your head it's just one piece but i love this one it's giving me superhero vibes like if you just see this there should be a logo here like very i don't know i think it's really cute love the square neckline love these thick straps you could get away with wearing a full-on bra i'd put my bra back on finally but yeah you could definitely wear a bra with this you'd be totally fine same as the others it's like shorter in the back a little bit longer in the front this one's not as severe it's like a very gentle slope and then the back is just plain and goes all the way up this is a size 20 <laughs> and we got these shorts honestly very similar to the other ones i think these are probably the same exact style just a different colorway of the orange and black polka dots and it's this like tropical floral situation got these in 22 again they fit literally the exact same as those other ones just like a different vibe cute good length same thing they have an elastic waistband and then just like a little tie on top again i'm pulling these so high because the top ends high but i would probably wear them like a little bit lower and just like that that is the end of the boohoo duology part one if you haven't seen it i'll put it up in a card or down below in the description box We'll see if I remember to do that. Yeah, I was pleasantly surprised. I think the only hard no were those green pants. How dare you? And um, maybe that pink top, the first one that I wore with the white short. Didn't love it. Rah, rah, crazy over it. But everything else I feel like worked out really well. I got to try out all these different corset tops. Bony, no bony. Eyelets, no eyelets. And I think my favorite is the eyelet and this one, the ones without the literal bones. But I did love that first rose pattern. I thought it was really pretty. I love a vintage floral okay i got a couple good solid pieces that i could wear overall very successful and yeah that's it for me today you guys if you want to shop anything the links will be down below in the description box they are affiliate codes it does help to support my channel thank you for using them you guys that do use them every time i get a little ping that's when you guys literally click the link i'm like <sighs> they don't hate me not that i think you would but just like you know that internal like no one's watching you guys are watching. Thank you so much. I'll leave my like to know it. It's basically where you can shop all of the looks from every haul that I've ever hauled all in one place. It's just an app where every photo is linkable and makes it really easy to shop. I'm like Instagram. Huh. Don't get started with Instagram. That's it. I, I'm in a weird mood. That is it for me, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, do all those nice things down below. We're growing. I'm really excited to see where this goes. And full secret, I know you guys hear me say that I'm switching jobs every single day. 
I got a position with Neiman Marcus Group as an intern and that internship turns into an assistant buying position after the internship in a few weeks is over. So I will be back in the fashion sphere. Not that I haven't been, but Target just didn't feel like that. We didn't feel, we weren't, we didn't get along. So I'm really excited to be going in that direction, see where my career takes me. So yeah, it just like stepping into that corporate world, something so new for me. So I just decided to share. We're sharing. The people on Instagram know, so you guys should know too. If you guys want to end up seeing like, day in my life as an intern, once I get comfy, like I'll do that. I'll do that for sure. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Oh,